Hallo und willkommen, ich bin Meister Lehns and you're watching Get Germanized Q&A number 14. I am bored, what should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get Germanized. First up a question by Michel Etienne Sartre. Uh, I'm just curious, do Asians smell? I mean, from a European perspective. Um, I can say that I have never noticed that. Uh, my friend Sergio was born here in Germany, but he has an Asian mother uh, uh, from South Korea, I believe. And I, no, never noticed anything. I mean, it is true that some other, like that, that people from other countries smell different to people from other countries. But uh, in my experience, I haven't really noticed that. Maybe my nose is not good enough or whatever. Or maybe that's just racist. <laughs> Who knows? Sydney Lamb 19 says, have you learned French before? Could students choose which third language to learn in Germany? Yes, I have learned French for about three or four years. I don't remember much at all. Je suis Dominique, uh, je m'appelle Dominique. That's about it. <laughs> baguette, croissant, fromage. Je voudrais un baguette. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, and yes, we can choose which language to learn. I think there's a choice most of the, of the time between French and another language. Uh, in some schools, it might be Russian, Dutch, uh, Dutch really rarely, I think. But yeah, stuff like that, you know. Spanish is often a choice. I had Spanish as well for three years. Don't remember much at all. Donde esta? Um, yo soy Dominico. <laughs> I always know those sentences. I don't know why. Don't ask me. Dave the Pie Man 12 says, What is your favorite video game of all time and why? That is a good question. Very difficult to answer though. I have many, many different favorite video games of all times because I'm a big gaming nerd. My Steam uh, account name is, by the way, or the ID is MeisterLeans here if you want to add me there and play games with me, like Team Fortress 2, I love, um, but that's not one of my favorite. I mean, it is a really good game, one of my favorites, but I would have to say Secret of Mana is probably my favorite game of all time because it's nostalgic feelings connected to it. Uh, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8 and 10, amazing games, definitely one of my favorite uh, game series. Mm, Assassin's Creed is amazing, Fallout, oh, so many good games, I don't even know what else to say anymore, Bioshock, so many good games. Um, I, I, I love them all. That, that's, that's my answer. All. Oh. Schweta Shavan says, Hi, I really love your videos. My question is, has Germany stopped extending the work visas for non-Germans because of the refugee situation? Um, I don't think so, but then again, I have no idea, really. Um, I haven't heard about that. If anyone knows the answer to that, post it in the comments below. I think... They're talking about uh, refugees at the moment, if they commit crimes and stuff like that, that they can be um, sent back to their own country faster. Um, they want to declare some countries to safe countries. I'm not sure if that's a good idea because I don't believe that they're really safe. But you know, they want to speed up the process of sending criminal refugees back to their own countries, which I think is good. Just need to be careful. You know, not to send them back to a country where they're being tortured and stuff like that. If they, like, stole something here, you know, that's, I don't think, a fair punishment. Ken Morgan says, I didn't realize there are two areas of Germany called Saxony. Lower Saxony and the Saxon Free State. Do people in Germany find this confusing? Thanks, Ken in Orlando, Florida. I don't think it's confusing for Germans because we had to learn all the states by heart when we were, like, in school. Um, so Niedersachsen and Sachsen, Lower Saxony and Saxony, doesn't really confuse me. Um, I have never thought about this actually, I mean I, I can imagine how that might be confusing for foreigners, but to me personally and to other Germans I don't think it is. Cross TGR 1604 says how old do you have to be to drink? <laughs> I get this question all the time. Um, I think it was 16 for beer and wine and 18 for hard liquor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that actually. If I'm mistaken, please correct me. But as far as I remember, I'm 29 now. Uh, I was allowed to drink beer and wine with 16, but hard liquor only with 18. And so it's not like 21 like in the US. Danny Schneider says, Hey Dominic, I was wondering if the most popular German TV shows airing in Germany are English dubbed with German subtitles or are just some of the most popular shows been German dubbed? I know it's a silly question, but I can't help but to ask, since I have tried finding and failing horribly this series Supernatural or other series 
for that matter, in German dub. I don't think it's that difficult to find that. Just, you know, type in on Google Supernatural Stream German or German Supernatural Stream. Whatever you find, I'm not responsible for here. Um, those pages I don't approve of, obviously, but that's the way to watch shows in German online. Psh. Oh, and to answer your question, <laughs> um, many, many famous shows from the US, from like the Hollywood movies and Hollywood shows, whatever, are being uh, dubbed in German. Pretty much all of them, like Big Bang Theory, uh, Supernatural, uh, Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, uh, Walking Dead, all of them, Fear the Walking Dead, um, Zoo, everything, the 100, all in German. I mean, I watch it most of the time in English because I like the original version better, but you can watch it in German for sure. Vanessa Abrego says, what type of girls do you like? What do you look for in a girl? To be quite honest, when I was younger, I was always just looking for like, um, oh, a pretty face, a good body or whatever, you know? I mean, I still enjoy that, don't get me wrong, who doesn't enjoy that? But um, I have learned over the years, especially the recent years, that if a girl doesn't have a good character, a good heart, um, it's all worthless, pretty much. What are good looks worth in the end if you're a shitty person and, you know, just fuck up everyone around you, then I don't know, I don't think you want a person like that for a relationship, right? I mean, to have fun with, maybe, for a day or so, but then you realize, oh, that person actually an asshole, so no. So what I look for in a girl, to make it short is a nice girl. Not necessarily nice all the time, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But uh, you know, nice character, good character, good heart. Uh, loyal, definitely loyalty um, is something I want in a girl. And you know, that I don't have to worry constantly about, ah, oh, you know, am I enough for the girl? Is she like satisfied? Tell me, the communication. I want a girl that knows how to communicate because how fucked up is it to just bottle up everything inside if you're unsatisfied with something or, you know, if you're unhappy, if you have problems, then talk about them. Don't make the person that loves you responsible for what's going on inside you if you don't talk about it. That's just fucked up. And so definitely honesty and communication, the, the usual things really, like common sense stuff. Common sense. Have common sense. <laughs> that would be great for once. Von Black Dogs has two things I like to ask. One, are there any German names that use the SZ in it? To you, what? To do you prefer us to call you by your name or get Germanized? Uh, names with the SZ? I don't think there are any uh, modern names that use the SZ necessarily. Maybe there's some old fashioned stuff, but I, I haven't heard about modern names with SZ. No. No, not really. And you can call me Dominic. Um, I mean, people, when they see me in public, <laughs> happened to me recently, someone said, hey, are you get Germanized? And I'm like, oh yeah, I am. <laughs> but, so that's fine. But you know, after that, you can start calling me Dominic because don't call me <laughs> get Germanized in public. That's the channel's name. It's not my name. But uh, it's fine if you like ask about it at first, you know, completely fine. Tobias says, will I have it easy in Germany as a Swedish person, person, assuming the Swedish person speaks German and what do Germans think about Swedes? Well, I don't think you would have any problems. I mean, most of the time the stereotypes we have about Sweden are really good. Um, they look great, especially the women, all blonde clones, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> No, but you know, the stereotype that Swedish people look very good, um, that they're friendly, I think, that they eat stinky fish sometimes. It's really, really weird. I don't know if it's Swedish even, maybe this, this fish in a can that stinks like death. Is that Swedish? I think it is, might be, or Norwegian or something, not sure. But yeah, I don't think you will have any problems here, especially if you speak German. And that's it for episode 14 of the Q&A. If you enjoyed this and if you want me to do another one, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos about the German language and culture in the future. And ask questions in the comment section of this video for the next Q&A. Ask away, ask me anything. Don't be rude, but ask me anything. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Support me on Patreon if you like. Patreon.com slash get Germanized. If not, that's fine as well. Um, goodbye. And I'll be the same. Love the video? Make get Germanized videos possible through your support on Patreon.com slash get 
Germanized and gain access to exclusive rewards and other cool things.